Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll be going through 10 top tips for tabletop skirmish gaming with your kids. Last weekend, I took my Weekend Warriors game down to my local game store to play some demo games, and it was awesome to meet some of the star players there. So it seemed like a good time to put out my 10 top tips video to make skirmish gaming with your kids more fun. I wrote my book Weekend Warriors around some key principles and ideas and so I'll be sharing some of those in the 10 top tips too. So let's get started with top tip number one. Right, top tip number one is to stay in the game and this is probably the most important tip out of all 10 in the video. I found that when I would play tabletop skirmish games with my kids, I'd be looking at the rule book quite often. And so going from the gameplay and coming out of that immersion to check a rule was the worst thing I could have done. It really destroyed the game. They'd quickly lose interest and then the game would stop flowing. And for kids, the game is really all about imagination. And once you break that flow of imagination, it can be really difficult to pull it back. I designed Weekend Warriors with a nice simple rule set, but everything you need once you've read the book once or twice is included on a one page reference sheet and the warrior card design has everything your kids need so you don't have to keep going back and forth to the book. I asked my boy to look bored in the background of the picture here, but he looks really sad at it, but he was having a great time before I took the picture. But um, thanks to him for helping me with this video too. Tip number two is to keep it simple. You don't need loads of fancy models or terrain. You could simply draw some characters, even stick men, on little pieces of card, use some blue tacks so they stand up, and then make out of cardboard, or even use tins of beans from the kitchen cupboard. Before I started the YouTube channel, we used to live abroad, and we were traveling around a lot, so we didn't carry much with us, so we'd have to improvise if we ever wanted to play games like this, or if we were playing RPGs like Dungeons and Dragons. So we'd often draw our own things and play games with what we could get hold of at the time. We always had Lego, though, so that was really helpful. But some of the best games we've ever had were with the simplest things and just making use of what we could find around us. Tip number three is to think outside the box a bit and use their favourite toys or yours. And I've got the get along gang here. They don't always get along and sometimes they get involved in a little skirmish and that's great fun. So you can use any toys you like, especially with a rule set like Weekend Warriors. Tip number four is to build and paint models together, but also create terrain together. It's great fun to do junk modelling, but also to build models from your favourite game manufacturers. Now my boy's got a bit sneaky and he's realised that I'll paint the models and build them anyway. So if he's not interested in doing it, he knows they're going to get done. But he really does like coming up with new rules and things like that. So I really encourage that side of things. And it's great when he brings new rules to the table and comes up with his own game ideas. Tip number five builds on the idea of using your favourite toys. And that is to play any scale, but also play anywhere. Don't be limited to the tabletop. You could take some big toys like Funko Pops and go out in the garden and have a game. Just scale everything up. Maybe instead of using inches, you could even use feet and go really big. Use huge models. Tip number six is to include new rules and ideas. And my boy will often come up with a new idea in the middle of a game and we'll just implement it right away and play it. And I think that's really fun and something that's really interesting because some of these rules are excellent and I've even included them in the different campaigns and quests I've written for Weekend Warriors. So there's loads of fun to be had coming up with new rules and ideas together. Tip number seven is to play to win and competition is healthy. And although this is all fun and games, it really is important, I think, to include that element of competition in it. The winner gets a prize, the loser doesn't get anything. This is great to develop some life skills, teach kids that you can't always win. There's going to be times when you lose and then that's going to encourage them to come back, try harder next time. And I think this will help them develop some important qualities like perseverance and tenacity. Things don't always come easy in life and when you work hard and you achieve something and you get the win, there's no better feeling than that, especially when it's well deserved and you've earned it. Number eight is to develop characters and stories. And this is brilliant when you play like campaign modes in games. And in Weekend Warriors, I've got the warrior cards set up so that you 
design your own character. So you can pick a model or toy you like, then do all the stats for that model or toy, and then start developing the character that way. But then you can tell the story and do this together. Build some little simple maps. Think about where they live, what they do outside of these skirmishes, what their motivation is and why they're involved in the game at all. And this is great fun coming up with this idea of characters, stories, world building, all that kind of thing. And that's something that you can do outside of the game that I think is really fun. Tip number nine is to recreate your favourite movies and shows. And this is where Weekend Warriors really comes into its own as you can use any models and any setting for the game. So this is brilliant to use Lego miniatures in. If you've got some Lego from Star Wars or Harry Potter, you can literally twist the rules so it fits in with those characters, the weapons or abilities or magic that they've got, and then you can play out your favorite scenes from the shows or take those characters in a completely different direction in a story of your own. Kids love doing this. They can take on those characters. They could even role play. And that's something I haven't included in. Role playing is awesome fun and something you can bring into the game. Don't be scared to do that. Even if it's a skirmish game, you can still role play your characters. And in between the different battles, as you talk through what they're doing, you can really act out different scenes and take on those personalities. So that's another brilliant aspect of tabletop skirmish gaming with kids. Tip number 10 is to encourage play outside of the game. And this is really important because I think once you've played a game, sometimes kids want to just go completely freestyle, have no rules whatsoever, but just play with the models and toys and use their imagination to develop the stories, develop some background and just keep going with the game in their head. And I think that's a really cool thing to do. Is my boy playing with a mix of different models. He's got the tanks from Flames of War, tanks from our Astra Militarum army. We've got the War Cradle Scenic set up, ready for a 3,000 point Warhammer 40k battle later on. But he's having a go and just playing his own game in amongst all that today before that game starts. So this is the sort of thing he really enjoys doing. And yeah, it's great when they get playing and they can really get stuck in, grab the models, play their own little game, and then they can bring what they've developed there to the tabletop when you play your next mission or quest. There you go, there's my 10 top tips to make tabletop skirmish gaming with your kids more fun. I've not focused on rules here, and so I've just really gone for some ideas and concepts and just ways to encourage imagination, really, and to keep the focus on the game. But if you want to look at how Weekend Warriors works and the rules attached to it, then I've put loads of videos up on the channel already, and I'll put a link to some of them at the end of this video and also to the playlist if you'd like to check them out. If you'd like to support the channel and pick up a copy of Weekend Warriors yourself, then I'll put links to Wargame Vault and Amazon down in the description below and you can buy the PDF version or the printed softback version too and if you buy the printed version you can also get the PDF and some extra quest submissions for free. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd love to hear your top tips for making tabletop skirmish gaming with your kids more fun. So let me know which one was your favourite from these top 10s in the description and if you've got anything you'd like to add please drop that down there too. Be great to hear what you think. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Please like if you liked it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below. <laughs>